<sighs> Mother flipping tea. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another episode of Jurassic World the game. I know, I know I very rarely make these videos. It's it's it like on, on this game. The the highly most highly requested videos I make are for Jurassic World the game, so I do apologize. I will try, try to at least make one a week. I know that you're asking. I, we haven't had enough of it. I mean, episode 400 and what? No, it needs to be episode 2 million, really. <laughs> anyway, sarcasm, what's that? Foreign languages. <laughs> and we're about to feed this guy a little bit more because we've still got to collect all of our stuff. So, you've seen by the thumbnail, you've seen by the title, we've got raptors in the kitchen. And you know what they say about raptors in the kitchen? Yes, that's right. Too many raptors in the kitchen. Kill Lex and Tim. That's why you can only have three at a time. In fact, was it just two? I think it was just two. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna collect all this and probably get to 99 million coin. Beautiful. And can we trade any of it? This is the interesting thing. Uh, so we will get onto that event as well as any others. But what I've actually realized is better than trading for books is trading for mods. Three million coin for two of that. Um, it's actually a lot cheaper and you may get even better prizes than just doing the Raptors. So if you're looking for ways to spend your coin, look, 600,000 just for that, not even a million. <laughs> you make James laugh. So as, as you've probably guessed, I am super close to getting the newest Spina to suit you. Are you ready? Look, look, there it is. How much do we need? 2,000. Yeah, we need, we need 2,000. We're, we're, no, we're nowhere near, guys. <laughs> look at that gun on it. Oh, it looks like a weird Resident Evil creature or something from Dino Crisis 3. Oh, with that mouth. Like, Ugh, spooky. Anyway, let's do this and collect a pack and get lots. Oh, the Morphodon. Oh, baby. A triple. <laughs> not so bad, actually. Pretty darn good. Um, so I'm not gonna collect any packs because I'm not a weenie and we're going sorry if you do buy the packs It's fine. Oh, yeah, happy anniversary to uh, the movie So we've got to do that. We've also got the raptors in the kitchen I will show what it looks like because it looks friggin amazing. I love when they do this. They look so cool Just a little bit of extra effort and it looks awesome. It makes me want to play it and oh, thank you for saving me having to do a thumbnail <laughs> Jurassic World Alive where you at? Give me good things to make thumbnails Actually, well, to be honest, there is a lot of there in that that could be, could indeed make good thumbnails. I'm just, uh, I'm very picky. So, oh, Spinosaurus, really? Oh, is it Spinosaurus? Only Spinosaurus. So what, this is the best I can do? Well, okay then. I mean, can he kill me in one hit? Let's slow down. Let's hear the roars. Right, I have to go for one reserve, just in case. Uh, two, I mean, 550. Oh, God. Oh, dear lord. Please block. Oh, thank you. He might have three, though. Please go for three. Please go for three. Go for three. Let me win. Okay, goes for one. She's so got two block. We have four. So we're gonna go for three block and one reserve. Oh, yes, he can't touch us. He's got three. Go for three now, please. Please. Look how, look how much bigger Spinosaurus is. My god. Okay, so now we need to go for... Four block, one reserve, just in case. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, I couldn't have won. I couldn't have won. I had to play it like this. Oh, are you serious? Okay, I'm going to have to block for five now. I'm just going to have to block for five. Um, So he's got six. Oh, please go for six. Please go for six. I think I played this the best I could. Okay, so he's got... He, wait, what? Three, four... Wait, did he go for three attack? Oh, God, I forgot. I wasn't looking. I only saw what the result was, and it was three. So, and I blocked for five? He, he, no, he must have put in three, which means I have to block for four now. And he blocks for three. Okay, please just go for four. Go for four. Make it easy. I couldn't have won. I don't think there was a single turn there. But, oh, no. I think I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. He's going to go for, like, two. Yeah, there it is. That's six, right? Is that six? Oh, wait. I might. I might survive. I might. I hope. Oh, he, oh, he goes for three. He's got... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, God. Please go for loads of block. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's not too bad. Because I can always just buy it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. Okay, he's got... He's got six again. Just go for six. Hmm. I think, that, I think if he's doing the same thing over and over, which it does seem like he's doing... 
I might have a chance to do this. So I'm going to go for three block and one reserve. Yeah, yeah, I think it's stuck into a system. Right, he's, he's not going to go for anything now. Yeah, not going to go for anything. Uh, he's going to block for two, I think. And if he blocks for two, one, two, three. He's dead. Please block for two. Yes! Oh, he did get locked into a system. Yay! There was a way to beat it. <laughs> Spinosaurus beats T-Rex. There you go. Take that, T-Rex fanboys. <laughs> By the way, I mean, is that gone? Is that dead and over? Of all the people that used to be Spinosaur fanboys grown up and realized how stupid that was, I and T-Rex fanboys, I hope that's ended. Because I think before Jurassic World, it was still a thing because that was the mo most recent. And uh, now, now do we have like Indominus Rex fanboys and Indoraptor fanboys? That's surely got to be a thing, right? Oh, <gasps> well, let's go for level 30 T-Rex, level 40 T-Rex. Thank God I didn't sell them all. Oh my God, it's a level 20 Indominus Rex. I need to block. Yeah, I need to make this T-Rex last as long as possible. So hopefully he attacks me. Oh, okay, okay. So he could have. He could have three, so I'm going to block for two again. He doesn't. Okay, and the next turn I'm going to go for three reserves. And hopefully that should leave me with enough. Oh, he's going for little slide digs. <gasps> oh, I love this game still. I love this game. I love the people working on it. You've done a really good job. <laughs> oh, it's so it's so nice. I live, I, I live in a time where I can play Jurassic World the game and... It's still relevant, and I'm still enjoying it, and it's fun, and you guys are enjoying it too. I love it. I do. <laughs> and it's so easy to- oh! So easy to record. It honestly is. Out of everything, it's one of the series that I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about editing things in, as long as I just do the intro where, hey, we're all good. <laughs> and that way I can relax and have fun. And we can tell stories and you have your cup of tea. You can watch us while on the toilet because I know you are. Why are you doing this to me? I don't want to be associated with your toilet habits. <laughs> there we go. And the final one, what's it going to be? Velociraptor again. Ooh. One, two. Let's get stronger and stronger and stronger. 20, 30, 40. I have a lot of raptors. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go for one reserve knowing that oh, this is level 25. Ooh, this is close. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited! Looking at this, this Indominus Rex, it got me um, excited for that. Uh, oh, I remember when Mattel released that hybrid Indominus Rex? You know the one. The one that um, that it sells for hundreds online now. Actually, I haven't checked, but I still think it does because it's so rare. It's a collector's item, really. Um, I'm going to go for four reserves here. Oh, seeing that thing. I, I, I need to do more Mattel unboxings, honestly, because they've released so many things. I will. I Honestly, I will. Um, oh god, he went for one. That was not what I wanted to happen. Because <laughs> now I only have 306 attack, and he's got a lot of blockages. So I'm going to go for four blocks and four reserves. I can still die in one, though. Right, please don't have any extra. Oh, please go for four now. We need to go for an all-out hit here. Oh, lord. Okay, uh, what do we do here, guys? Because we have to go for at least... Four to kill him. Well, one, two, three. Oh, oh God, we have to go for. Okay, please don't have more than two block. Ah, oh, you buggy you! Oh, that's not fair. Oh, come on, he went for the perfect amount. Oh, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> that means I have to buy back my freaking raptors. Well, I only have to buy back one. I think it, I think I'm pretty safe in just putting in the level. No, I'm so sorry, buddy. It is dead. Right, okay, 58 bucks down the drain. There we go. Okay, let's let's play this one a little bit better. Or if we can, let's speed this up, though. I don't think we can play better. Um, it all depends. If you had maybe another level 40 Velociraptor, you might be in with a shot. Um, so, I mean, here we have to go for one reserve, two block, just to make sure we survive. Right, okay, let's think. Is it, it, does this get stuck in the situation where it just goes for loads of reserves? I hope it does. Um, like with the T-Rex, it just did a certain thing. So he's got four, is it? And he's got three. Okay, don't go for one. Actually, oh, damn it. That might have been worth it. Okay, so now if he kills me, he has to go for a bunch. And I don't think he has a bunch. Oh, five! Yes, go for five. Please go for five. Now, depending on what he does, 
Yes, we've won. Okay, I'm switching in my other raptor. I'm switching in my other raptor. Switching, switching. Because I think we need at least two to block. So, uh, 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 that's killed him. And he has one block. Oh, yeah, there we go. Whoa! 58 bucks for this pack. Please tell me I get 58 bucks. Oh, I would like 58 bucks. Come on, there we go. Movie anniversary, what are we going to get? I don't even know what the chance... I'm assuming you can get an Indominus Rex in this pack, and that's the big seller. So, what? The, probably less than 1% to get that Indominus Rex. But, here we go. Movie anniversary pack. Um, you know what? You know what? I'm going to put... I, I'm going to take a picture. Sorry. <laughs> my, that might be in the thumbnail. I don't know. And here we go. Oh, oh, five, well, 500 bucks. Oh, a Stegosaurus and a Parasaurus. As well as, oh my god, yes. Can I have more events like that? Look at all the VIP points. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, well, we're going to do raptors on the prowl, actually, not in the kitchen. So what would be a good opponent for a raptor? An Indoraptor, I think. Bless it. Can you imagine if Alan Grant came up against an Indoraptor? I wonder what he would have said. I mean... There has been speculation that Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler will reprise... Well, sorry. Sam Neill and Laura Dern will reprise their roles as Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler, respectively, in the newest Jurassic World movie. And I think it's it's basically confirmed. Sam Neill uh, went to a Welsh Comic-Con not too long ago. Um, and he never... I don't think he does Comic-Cons too much. So I get the feeling he's he's getting a taste for it. He's, he's trying to get back into... Uh, the, you know, the spirit of, uh, of it, uh, I, I, I feel. Um, and Laura Dern actually was on a, um, on a morning show. And I think she confirmed it because Bryce Dallas Howard was in the audience. I mean, it's always set up. All these morning shows are deliberately set up. Um, in, in a way that they ask certain questions to certain people and what have you. Um, and she said, would she be willing to work or return back to Jurassic World? Um, or something like that. And I think she basically confirmed it. I don't exactly remember verbatim what uh, Laura Dern said. But I'm pretty sure it, it, it just it just said that she's coming back. Um, but I want them to come back in a way where it's not, you know, hashed together. Like it's a fan service. A bit like um, Ian Malcolm was in Fallen Kingdom. Where he just bookended it. There was no him coming out of the courtroom, having a conversation with uh, Claire, Claire's character, because that would that could have been really cool to have Claire be there at the hearing, at the government hearing, because she's if she's so into saving these dinosaurs, why wasn't she there, or even to protest it or anything? I mean, you may say, well, she was more important. And a level 20 Indoraptor. Why not waste them if we're going to do this whole event? <laughs> um, so, and then she could have had an exchange with e the Ian Malcolm. You know, the one who went to Isla Nublar. Has went through a similar experience as Claire. They could have shared some chemistry, some stories, some, you know, some character development. But no, he was just in it to bookend the movie. Um, so... In a way, that kind of sucked because it could have done so much more there, even a little scene. I get the feeling that possibly we might open with Laura Dern or uh, Sam Neill in the next one. Um, that would be a really good, really good start. I think we know we know a lot about Claire. We know a lot about uh, Owen. We we need to start with Alan Grant or Laura Dern for the for the old fans of Jurassic Park or for the fans of Jurassic Park. They'll be like, yes. Uh, Alan Grant, woohoo, that's amazing! And then the new fans who maybe don't know too much about Jurassic Park can get to know the character a little bit more. So it's not just, oh look, it's it's Alan Grant stepping in at, at 38 minute runtime for no reason to just be like, oh, I'm here now. You know, how about we, we, we bring it from a good point? I don't know. That's, that's my two cents anyway. Oh, well, we got two raptors, but not too many VIP points. But really, you know what we're doing it for. That's super DNA, dog. Okay, so that's super hard. And what about glacier shifts? Oh, oh, doggy. Right, let's go. Let's go, son. Let's go for uh, Leptostega, which is a hybrid that's actually not too bad. Then he'll switch into Ram Ramulosaurus, which Orthacanthus can take out. And finally, Hanodis could sweep up the other one. So we're going to go for one, one reserve straight away. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, because I'm sure he can probably kill me in one hit. Should have went for a block. Oh, that was lucky! Under the sea, where everything's spiking, looks like it could kill you. Under the sea. 
Right, so we're gonna go for loads of reserves because all the Canthus has killed this thing, and then Hanodis has killed the Prognathodon and Styxosaurus. Bam! Didn't even hit him there. Oh, look at that beak. Stab, stab! <laughs> but still, if I was still in, in my old ways, giving things names, which you never know. I mean, Becky was the, the, the most recent one, I think. But, you know, back in the day when everything had a name, like Shark Lawnmower, Captain Levi, Pancake, Popcorn. You know the rest. I'm pretty sure that would be called Stab Stab. Or Captain McStab Stabs. <laughs> or Evil Stabby McGee. I don't know. But the Orden Catfish, that thing looks gorgeous. I love it. Love the way it looks. Little pattern that runs down it. You know, it looks good and it's not spiky. They, I mean, I think Ludia kind of got over their spikiness when the aquatics came in and they were like, you know what? It's a bit of a cliche. We'll try something different. And they did. And they made Orth Orthocanthus look amazing. They made this thing look like it was a moving coral reef. Love it, honestly. Uh, so there you go. Ooh, went for one too many. But that's fine. Look at it. And then sticks the sores with its sail. Sail boy. Come on, you can't beat Pancake Boy. Oh, well. Well then, you've only got four, I think. So, we're gonna do the twisting turtle power of doom. Ready? I don't know how he does it, but uh, he does it. With with maximum efficiency. <laughs> Straight through the neck, tears it in half. It's like a one-headed Ghidra. King Ghidra. Is it Ghidorah or Ghidra? I think it's Ghidra. If we want to say it properly. If we want to put the Japanese inflection on it. Anyway, here we are. Look at this. Look at this thing. Could have went for all the Canthus now. So we're going to go for Hainosaurus, which will then force them to switch into uh, just the other things. Let's go. So I'm going to go for one reserve. Ammonite's not... I'm not too worried about Ammonite. Um, that's why I've went for... I mean, it's the only ones I had left, but I've went for kind of weak caves because they've got a lot of attack but not too much uh, health. Okay, that's great. That is actually really good, because now we can go for um, one block and two reserves, because he's going to need two hits to kill me, and he didn't have any reserves, so we can safely go into that. And if we survive, which we do, oh, he has nothing heinous or taking it on the chin like a boss. With his amazing, crazy, spiky gills, brings in... Should we say Jillicus? We'll save the other one for last. Okay, Jillicus comes in. One, two, three. Oh, and it's enough to kill him and have some... Uh, energy left over. There you go. Didn't even bite him, just swam gently towards him. Um, uh, what would you say, Sakana Oyoideimas? There you go. Fish swimming. <laughs> oh, he actually tried to attack me! Oh! <laughs> well, um, you know, because hey, oh my god, we had four! Well, I could have. Ooh, I could have killed him going all out, actually. He'll probably switch here, though. Yes! Look at this, my team's actually well underpowered. In comparison, I feel. Especially with that level 154 Lyplurodon. Right, come on, Bonogamous. Fish tornado back in the day when there was three of you. But you fused together to make one amazing fish. Oh, we killed him! Oh, well, there you go. So it doesn't matter what happens now. Even if. I don't know, Ammonite managed to kill me with the least goes possible, which would be two. I'm pretty sure I've got him. That would leave him with three block, and yeah, we can kill him. I think Jillicus has a thousand attack. And it doesn't even matter! Let's do it! So at eight, we do 32,000 damage. Minus three, which is actually a pretty decent, hefty chunk. Oh, look at the teeth! They haven't, they've they have smooth bound that to the, uh, the skeleton, so they stretch <laughs> that mesh. Oh, it's horrendous. And they could make it a rigid bind and have them a separate geometry, but... Uh, or even just weight paint them so that it's connected to the head joint rather than... But uh, anyway, I think they're slightly overpainted onto the bottom jaw. If anybody's interested in actual rigging lingo, there you are. <laughs> That's what was really cool visiting. Um, what'd you call it? Um, oh yeah, let's just go for it. Plot source, best we can do. Visiting Ludia's studios because... I felt like I could, you know, the things that were going on, especially on the computers and stuff. Uh, somebody was on ZBrush or ZBrush. Um, who calls it ZBrush, honestly? <laughs> Even British people call it uh, ZBrush. But um, like modeling something that I can't say because I, it's not released yet. <laughs> In fact, actually, I think that was something I wasn't meant to see because at the end, um, oh, I can't remember her name, but she said, you shouldn't have seen something, but I'm not going to tell you what it was. Oh my God, he killed me. No! That I did not expect to happen. Uh, okay, we're gonna go for two and then three reserves here. Uh, ooh, 
It's going to be tough, because if he kills my Tylosaurus, I'm down to the wire. Yeah, but I can't, I, there's a lot of things I can't say, but it was really cool to see uh, some animation going on. Um, uh, just just the sort of things that I... I oh, whoa, <laughs> that was close. But we've done it, guys. We've done it. He's only got one block. He's dead. Factor in one and three. Done. Wow, that was close. Didn't buy back a single creature. Did it? Legit. Uh, I love the little crack of the neck there of that animation. Uh, a lot of cool things coming to each game, I'm going to say. A lot of, like, uh, Jurassic World the Game and Jurassic World Alive. Can't say what they are, but really cool things coming. I mean, I've already mentioned, I think, in the last video about the two mods that I was allowed to preview that, again, I still didn't get in touch with Ludia. And I'm so sorry, because I know you guys watch my video. George! Somebody yell, George! George! Hello! <laughs> I'm so sorry! Uh, anyway, there we go. So seven years. The the mud slap tail. It's a ground type move. Lowers the accuracy 100% of the time. Bam! If it hits, that is. I think mud slap only has a 70% chance of accuracy. It's not, not, not the best. Does about 30 damage, I think, base. Or at least 30. I said something like that. Anyway, climate shift. Beautiful. Ooh, uh, well, I got reimbursed for my bucks that I did spend, but I got reimbursed anyway with the uh, 500. And some extra VIP points. Yeah, 307 freaking thousand Ooh, ah jesus oh that's gonna bruise oh my god ow yep ah <laughs> Ooh, i was pulling up my um my trouser leg and it i sort of slipped and the full force of me trying to pull the bottom of my leg uh ended up coming up and hitting the table so I can already see what seems to be a crack. It's not a crack. Anyway, anyway, ow, I'm going to I'm going to have a bruise. <laughs> oh well. Uh, it's not bleeding. Is it? Oh god, no. Anyway, uh, do I have st I don't know if I have sticky mold. No, I don't have sticky mold. Like. Um Odomorphodon. I I might have that level 40. Is there anything in the solid gold pack that would be worth it cuz I kind of like just saving because when something good comes out, all my VIP points go, or at least I get it to level 20. Sort of here, I mean, Bionix would be decent to have. Concavenator, I don't think I have level 40. Actually, no, I do. I do have Concavenator level 40. But now there's like 6% chance of some things. Um, it's nice to see Pterodactylus come back, because he was in at the start, and then he went away. <laughs> but he decided to fly back, fly home, back to where it belonged. And the best part, guys, oh, yeah, 36 v um, Super DNA for both, getting a little bit closer. I think we need 2,000 for an Indoraptor, so 230 left for Indoraptor. Uh, is it 1,000 for Monolith Assault? I feel like it might be 1,000 for Mono Stegotops. Let's have a look. Uh, we'll sort by super hybrids. Yes! Beautiful! Boom! Put that in! We got another mono stegotops. Um, is it 600 for... Wow, Sarkasuka's DNA we haven't bumped into for a while. Caprasuchus still got a while to go to. And they just keep adding more super DNA that... Oh, it's really interesting. I wonder what they know with the new movie coming up. Hmm. Anything, anything that will be added to it. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. F in the chat for my uh, my thumb, but it'll, it'll get better. It'll, it'll obviously take like a hundred mummy kisses to, fe to heal that. But hey, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.